brothers and sisters, I want you to think about this this morning, what I said. Next week, I'm going to pick this up again. I don't say these things to hurt you. I don't say these things to condemn you. But how many of you have ever been to the hospital and had surgery done? Okay. How many of you have ever had pain-free surgery? <laughs> Jen. Then you raise your hand. What's the difference between that surgeon holding that knife and cutting you and a thief holding a knife and cutting you? They both cut you. They both hurt you. What's the difference? One's to preserve life and one's to take away life. I say these words to you this morning to preserve life, to preserve the life, the unity of this church. And sometimes that will bring pain. But with the pain will also bring healing. And healing needs to be done here in this church. Let's come our bow our head and we'll close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for such a beautiful day. Uh, such a beautiful day. I thank you for allowing me to be here this morning. Pray, Father, that you will continue to be with my wife, that you will help her in her recovery. She will help her to get over this bacterial infection that she has that you will bring her back to full health. Father, I also pray for Wilbur and Ethel, for Wesley. Lord, that you comfort this family, that you will bring your peace to them, and that you will give them the hope that when Jesus comes and he calls the dead to life, they will see their daughter and their sister. Father, I pray for Sidney that you bless him, that as he's looking at the end of his life, whether it's days or hours, that you will give him comfort, that he will know your presence, and that we as a church will be there to visit him and bring him comfort. And Lord, I pray for Doc and Vera, that you bless Doc, that you bring healing to his body as well, that your will will be done. But most of all, that they both will know your peace, your presence, your joy, the love of your church family. Father, I pray for this church. I lift them up to you. You have given me responsibility here as a shepherd. I pray that you help me to perform my duties <laughs> to bring glory to you and to be used to draw people to Christ. Bless this church. Bless those who are here. Draw them closer to you. Help them truly to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. For this I ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.